Here's a how-to video on Xfluence Skin Part 3 Custom Backgrounds and create your own custom build. It's the only way. So now that you know how to do the, the menus and submenus, you probably took a long time, uh, we're going to do change out the background. Uh, as you can see right here, the background, does, background doesn't change because it's a single global uh, wallpaper. If I go to system, it's the same thing. So we're going to go to, um, first off, before you do this, go ahead and save a bunch of wallpapers and put it on a folder like I did. As you can see right here, it says new backgrounds. And then you can see that there's a bunch of them that I saved, right? And then let's go back to it. Now, what you want to do is go to system, go to skin settings. And then um, where it says background artwork. Now, background path is global. Obviously, it's just one. As you can see, ink, single or multi. If I go ahead and change it, you can change um, whatever you want. You can change the startup and all that, right? Or you could do the theme, which I normally don't. So right now we're on single. So if I were to just do the single image, and then obviously it goes to that folder. Now, what I'm going to show you is a way to get use that um, folder or get to it. Now, for for the Mac. It's a, it's a little different because see here's my single uh, photo or wallpaper. Um, you're just gonna go ha have to go to the um, your media folder. Well, for the Mac, it's library application. And you're gonna see this folder and then you're gonna see, and then you're gonna go to add-ons. And then we're gonna go all the way down until you see skin. Um, Xfluence, right? And you're gonna see a folder where it says backgrounds. This is where we were in uh, earlier on the media player, so you can see. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and stick this one. Let's. Uh, it's just 185. I just grabbed it online. I'm gonna put it in here. Now while we're in that, if you do have a folder of um, backgrounds, like the like the one I have, it says new backgrounds. Go ahead and put it to um, backgrounds, and we're just going to drag this whole folder in here as well. So as you can see, it's all there as well. So I'm going to take out of that and go out. Now let's go to system, skin settings, and then go to single. And then you can see right here is what I uh, got from online to choose as a wallpaper. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Obviously, you can see that it changed, and then if I go to any other, it's just one background all the time, right? Now, I'm going to show you a way to take that off. If you want each single global background enabled, uh, disable it on the general settings. As you can see, now everything changes when it goes. So, obviously, the, the tabs that you made is different right it doesn't show nothing so what we're gonna do is go to skin settings and go to background artwork and now <coughs> you'll see more of it right so you got movies TV shows cartoons videos programs and system now you could let's go ahead and do um, this one right here and go to single image and I'm just gonna go ahead and use This one right here for now, and then I'm gonna change the TV shows and just do that one, and then obviously for cartoons, just do this one. So as you can see right there, so I go system, program, videos, cartoons, TV shows, and movies. Obviously, I did, I picked the gray one, and then that's how you change all all of that if you want it to be. Right here, another one is um, multi image. So, if I were to just go to any of these, right, and go to multi image, and then obviously that's the folder that we have made earlier, uh, new background, and then OK. Now, if I go to system, 
and nothing else changes because we have only chose it to to the movie section so you can see it changes every time I go to it because it's a folder that I have created uh, on there already so every time it just changes so if you have a collection of like movies wallpaper or TV show wallpaper then you could kind of have it like interactive and stuff like that so that's another way to you know change it randomly now another way is to actually go to skin settings and go to general settings again and enable single global background once you enable this again it's just one right nothing changes now what I like is um, what I use I go to skin settings and go to background and then having this pick global background and then go to multi image and then new background I know I'm going kind of fast obviously that's kind of the purpose on YouTube you can actually rewind and learn from it that way um, so go ahead and click that folder that you have made go ahead and click OK now as you can see that when I go to another menu it doesn't change because it's on a on a timer kind of type which is um, see as you can see it, it changes whenever it wants so I'm just gonna leave it the way it is and within a matter of seconds it changes I like that more because the menus stay the way it is I don't have to keep going because it's kind of a headache uh, for me uh, when you go to a different tab and it changes different tab and it changes it's just too much for me right I just have it like that now the earlier I told you how if you wanna show more of the wallpaper if you go to skin setting and go to general and then take off enabled home floor so you can see that deletes and then lower menu main bar right bam shows a little bit more and then everything is at the bottom now that's only an option if you want it to I'm gonna go ahead and put that back whoops sorry about that and have it normal like that so that's basically up to you so that's how to actually have uh, all your f pictures in the actual um, media player folder now there is a trick when you back up and you put it on the device there's it's not showing up well I'm gonna show you that in another video thank you for watching and please subscribe to our channel and like our videos and follow us on Twitter at XBM connect to keep up with the updates